Oh, you want to? Hey, we didn't. We're get going to. into bracketology. Okay, I was about to say bracketology yeah, that's what we're sounds doing. awesome. Yeah, we're. By the way, we're uh, sorry, Misty, if you're online and you're watching, because I told you we were doing this around nine thirty, because she she submitted something and wanted to watch us do it live on the air. It's going to be next week when we get into uh, the best revenge on an X story. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sorry, but I can't control it. And you know me. I, you know I can't control things. Um, we've been intimate. We've touched each other very intimately. You you're, know talking, I, you're talking. You know to, that I, I'm talking to Misty. You're talking to one person. You know that I can't control things. On so the I podcast. can't control this either. I All just right. wanted to be clear. All right. I wanted to be very clear. Uh, we're going to get instead into Colby's favorite bracketology thus far, because he made it. Uh, the uh, bracket of the 16-team single elimination best Nintendo games ever, Colby. All right, then. Because you did this. I did. Well, you asked me to. I did. Well, but I thought it would be fun. I should probably have a pen, right? All right, talk about Nintendo. So... The NES, and this is the uh, the system that we're going with. That first little block, by the way, was one of it was the my favorite Christmas of all time. It's when the NES first came out, and I'm still young enough that I run down to where the Christmas tree's at, and I see what's underneath the Christmas tree, and I'm hoping for stuff, but you're not sure what's going to be there because hey, did bonus check come in or what have you? Did you say bonus check? Bonus check. Oh. And I remember running down the stairs and staring into the living room, and there was the Nintendo Entertainment System. Wow. And there was the gold Legend of Zelda cartridge, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and, of course, Super Mario Brothers. It wasn't the Super Mario Brothers duck hunt. It was just... <laughs> Might have been the best one. It was just Super Mario Brothers. Because, uh, you know, didn't get the gun attachment. It was been high demand. They got what they could get. And the rest of my life has now changed because of that one Christmas. Because video games, sweet God, that is the ultimate release that you don't have to leave your house in order to experience. So I just thought of an issue we're going to have here. We're voting on brackets and there's only two of us. This is true. Uh, which could create a problem. It could. Is there anyone in the house? I'm looking at a vast studio audience here, Colby. Is there anyone in the house that likes Nintendo? Courtney, did you ever play Nintendo? Okay, then you're going to have to come over here and be on the show for a second. You know what? Where well, we can just throw it to them and we can get a yay or nay. All right, that's fine. Well, I kind of thought she'd look pretty on camera. She might take her top off. I'm trying to save myself. God damn it, I'm sorry. My bad. She will definitely not take her top off. <laughs> I've, trust me, I've tried numerous <laughs> times for for five years. Okay. Hey, we're voting on Nintendo games. We're going to throw it to you if we need a tiebreaker. All right. All three of y'all. All three of y'all. Well, we're not there yet. All right, Colby. Yep. We're, these are your seats, your seatings. Your, Colby, this is your the product of your seed. Mm-hmm. We have the product of Colby's seed on my paper. You go. <laughs> Mark. And go ahead and include whatever the guilt was. I don't know if I can continue. All right. What's We're going first... to start with eight versus nine. Eight one... versus... Yeah, All I don't right. want to start with the top. All right. Uh, much like. Uh, a basketball tournament. You want to see the mid-range guys before you don't at all. I'm sorry. I'm just making that up. Uh -huh. We're going to start with the eight versus the nine, Colby. As you have ranked slash put your seed inside Castlevania as the eight seed against number nine seed Final Fantasy. Ooh. And clearly these are very close to you because you ranked them one seed apart with your seed. I sure did. Castle By the way, we did this with Colby's seed. Castlevania is, is damn. It, it does. It, Should I give my vote first? Yeah, go Castlevania. ahead. Castlevania. It's my vote. And that's your vote. I think that's gonna influence you because you're just gonna vote opposite me. Well, I, I was already going with Final Fantasy. God damn it! All right, Courtney, we already need you. I need you to vote for Castlevania or Final Fantasy. She doesn't know what 
Final Damn, Fantasy. I hate, I hate you. You're no longer my wanna be naked girl. <laughs> All right, Final Fantasy wins. Number seven versus number 10. Dude, I can't believe these two are against each other. This is way too early for these two, as we have Mike Tyson's Punch Out versus Excite Bike it's, with Colby Seed all over it. It's Mike Tyson's Punch Out that wins this. It's I loved Bike Exc- all the way. I loved Excite Bike, but it just, once you got past the track editor and you made that a couple of times, their replay value wasn't great. But man, they the one of the toughest in bosses in video game history was going up against Mike Tyson. It just it got to the point to where the code in to, the early nineties, Mike Tyson. The the Before code the face tap. The code to get to Mike Tyson was something that was traded about at school. Once you once you got it and you got the unlock code where you could go ahead and fight Mike Tyson. They had unlock codes back then, even they, they did, where you'd punch in the code and it would lead you back to where you left off at. Or where somebody else left off at right. if they gave you the Mike Tyson code. So yeah. Right. Soda Popinski, King Hippo, <laughs> Macho Man. Just- I'm going excite, Mike, because that was also the name of me and my first wife's honeymoon porn video. Yeah, because it was on a motorcycle. Excite bike. No, because she rode me like an excite bike. You could have just said motorcycle. Not clear. I know. I don't. So. uh, All right, that was a bad call. All right, Courtney, we need a tiebreaker. Excite bike or Mike Tyson's punch out. I couldn't hear. Yeah, I'm. What? Excite bike or Mike Tyson's punch out. And I guess they're going excite bike. All right, we're going Mike Tyson's punch up. All right, gotcha. <laughs> That's not fair. Uh, it's six versus eleven. Contra, Ooh. which of course is the video game of the Iran Contra affair with Ronald Reagan and the Iranians. No, this oh. would, this would be uh, the. By the way, a, a known the Contra code. I'm sure you've heard of that before. I have. Yep. I have. That's where it came from? Yes. And also Ninja Gaiden. Well, I'm, Colby, I'm going Contra all the way. Contra is also where I'm going. Ninja Gaiden is great, but Contra was one of the first you and a buddy jump in there double yep. dragon style and yep. just shoot the hell out of aliens and robots and stuff. It was amazing. Then we have the five seed versus the 12 seed. We have Mega Man 2. Uh-huh. I don't know what was wrong with Mega Man 1 because he didn't make the list. 2 was just a whole lot better. All right. Against the 12 seed Metal Gear. Metal Gear, of course, uh, spawned your snake, which, man, PlayStation Cobra. owners, you, you, it, snake, snake. If you haven't heard that, then you don't actually. That's what that's from. Yeah, you don't actually. Uh, well, have Metal, a Gear, soul. Metal Gear clearly is my vote. Metal Gear would have been my vote, but that. Mm. But you're a Mega Man fan. No, give me Metal Gear. Oh, wow, we agree on two in a row. Which brings us to the four seed versus the 13 seed. And this one's easy for me, Colby. Uh, Because the four seed is Metroid. Uh Uh-huh. The 13 seed, Baseball Stars. Oh, dear I've God. I've got baseball stars all in my pants right now. The creative player, the the all of that for baseball stars, one of the first times you could actually just put yourself yep. into a video game. That was amazing. And I've spent so much time playing season after season of baseball stars. And if it was going up against anything else, oh, I probably would have picked it. But no, Metroid has to win because I, I literally – had a buddy that mapped out every part of the dungeon of Metroid yep. on his wall. He drew it that himself to, to, to make sure he knew exactly where everything was in order to be able to know it's that's Metroid. impressive for your friend. That's that. Uh, so I, I could go over there and see, Oh, okay. That's, that's where this particular thing is. Got it. I would have him on the phone. It was like my my call of friend when I got lost in Metroid. All right. So, Courtney, we need a tiebreaker. Donna. 
going to Metroid or baseball stars? Metroid it is. <laughs> See, Colby, I feel you. Uh-huh. So is this better or worse than when we did the top places to have sex before you die at my house and we used my, at the time, 12-year-old, 11-year-old son as the tiebreaker? Um, this, this is currently, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to, because there was a lot of more comedic value to what was going on at the time because the only person that had any type of just hearing the kid going, yeah, option two. And you're like, option two is on an airplane with like <laughs> jello and stuff. You shouldn't know anything about that. So but he does because he's my kid. Right. All right. Number uh, three seed. Super Mario Brothers, not one or two. No, it's just the regular. Three versus Double Dragon. And Colby, I got to tell you, I don't feel a lot of these, but I feel Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Mario Brothers 3, the the I can tail, feel it in my pants. The everything that went on with that, that was amazing. I can still smell the smell that the cartridge had. When it, was, it out. when it was in the machine because it had a different smell than any other cartridge. I still for smell that reason. every time I pull it out. Yeah, so Double Dragon was amazing. But, but what's your vote? It's going to be Super Mario Bros. <laughs> 3. All right. Wow, we agree on another one. We have the finally, the or not finally, uh, number two versus number 15. And this one's easy for me, but I can tell it. I already know what you're going with. Because you have The Legend of Zelda, number two. Yep. I never played that my entire life. Although my kids play it now. And I'm not talking about, like, current editions of it. I'm talking about they play the original online Legend Legend of Zelda. Yep. Versus Tecmo Super Bowl. This isn't Tecmo Bowl. This was no, the Tecmo better Super Bowl. Better version in my because this had your free agents, this had yep. your build a team, this had everything that you wanted in the original one. It was there. The problem is is that the Legend of Zelda was one of the greatest gaming experiences. I'm, I'm shocked it's not number 1 of my entire life. But I have to go with Tecmo because it's a sport. Yeah. I shared this gaming experience with my with my father oh. and he was it was one of those things that just really attached me to the video games because he he was he you had like his, Zelda? he had his own character his own save game and I had mine and I remember the day I came home from school and under um, forest tees yeah uh, Zelda character his game experience he had a little sword next to his and I didn't know what that was. And he walks in and looks in my room and goes, just see my sword. And I've got the controller and I'm about to, to boot it up. And I'm like, yeah, what, what does that mean? He goes, I beat it. I won the game. I beat that Ganon and did just shut my door. And all I could think of was, I've been stuck fighting this one final boss for what felt like a month. And he he was behind me this whole time in the game. Of progression. Right, right. And the thing that he did. You think it cheated? No, I know exactly. No, I can tell you exactly what he did because I had no attention span at that time. Oh, so okay. every time there was like words on the screen, I would just hit the button to zap through it. He read them. He's reading things. And he, he's an adult. So he found out that you needed to have the silver arrows in order to shoot at Ganon for his stuff to drop where you could actually do damage to him. I didn't know that. So yep. I didn't use silver arrows. Yep. So I've been fighting this SOB for a month. And he got first time he got to him. And so it took me another until the Nintendo Power finally came out that told you yeah, yeah. to use the silver. I, I didn't know. So, so you're going with Zelda. A Legend of Zelda. And you know what? You convinced me because that's a heart heart wrenching story. So I'm going with Zelda. The two seed. By the way, my dad one time asked me if I saw his sword. Oh. But it, it wasn't that. It was different. I'm just saying. 
probably shouldn't have said that on the air. <laughs> number one versus the number 16 seed, Colby, before we go to the second round. Uh -huh. Super Mario Brothers versus Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins. Greatest Nintendo games ever. And the Ghosts and Goblins is one of the hardest games that I had ever played besides Fester's Quest. Ghosts and Goblins was amazing, but that first level that everybody remembers and then dun -na 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 -na, dun -na 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 -na, yep. bum bum bum. That's Super Mario Brothers. It wins. Nope, I'm there with you. Super Mario Brothers. I played I actually did play both of those games. I haven't played some of these, but I played both of those. Hey, games. the final boss in Gold Ghosts and Goblins was actually Satan. Like live and in person? Like it was actually Satan. Well, that makes sense because it came from Japan. And it was also, Satan was the same size as the soul screen. That makes sense. And your guy was, you know, an inch tall. So, yeah, that, it looked like an un, un, nice. unbeatable boss. But, yeah, Super Mario Brothers. By the way, uh, uh, what's the word? Spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have time for news and notes. Gotcha. So don't feel any pressure. Uh, we are on the number nine seed versus the number seven seed in round two. We have Final Fantasy versus Mike Tyson punch out. <sighs> Colby. This is where I can go ahead and leave my RPG. It's harder for you as we go R through the Yeah, it is. I can go ahead and leave my RPG guys. Sorry. But Mike Tyson's punch out holds a, a tremendous spot because it was in All that right. first first games list. Yep. And I definitely like that better than Final Fantasy. So the seventh seed past the ninth seed in overtime. We now have uh, Metal Gear. No, wait. Mega Man, sorry. Uh huh. The number five seed Mega Man against the number six seed Iran Contra Affair online game as you play as Ronald Reagan. It's not, but oh, Contra. 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 Contra is definitely in my book better because of the shoot 'em up quality. So give you know me Contra. what? I actually like Contra. Too. I think I've voted for Contra before. Got to get the you got to get the spread shot. Don't land on the L because then you got the laser and God, it takes forever to get rid of that thing because you can't hit jack shit with it. Colby said you got to get the spread shot. Got to get the spread. Donna, shot. I've been wanting to get the spread shot for a while. I'm just saying. We now have, Colby, the number four seed, Metroid, versus the number three seed, Super Mario Brothers Place. And this is where we're going to differ because Metroid, in my book, was a better game than Super, Super Mario, Mario Brothers 3. Even though you had Super Mario Brothers 3 seeded higher with your seed. I know, because I was going on if, if everybody to themselves. All right. But as far as who I like better, yes. So we have to go to the peanut gallery for a tiebreaker. Just have Super Mario Brothers 3 pass it. It's fine. No, what, what, you voted for Metroid. I did. I'm going to have my vote in there. You can have the two-vote vote right here. Hey, Courtney. Super Mario Brothers, Metroid, or a penis? <laughs> if it's not a penis, Super Mario Brothers or Metroid? Super. Super it is. Sorry, Colby, I tried. There you go. Super penis was the now the vote. <laughs> penis? Super penis. Uh-huh. Oh, Colby, what are we doing right now? Hey, hey, you. It's all me. Uh -huh. It's all me. Yep. Oh, now she's here. Uh-huh. I want to see... The what? On oh on Mario Brothers, oh the guy you met in a bar last night. I have no idea. Super Mario Brothers moves on. Hey, please look it up and then I'll look you up. Um, <laughs> now we're at the one versus the two, Colby. Mm -hmm. Super Mario Brothers one. Versus The Legend of Zelda. This is going to be hard for you. It, you know what? It, as you put your seed on more things. That's right. On this list. I, I got to go with Legend of Zelda. Wow. Over the number one seed. Over the number one seed. Yes, sir. 
Okay, you know what? Because of the love that my kids have for that game, I'm going Zelda. The one seed is out, Colby. Boom! The one seed has been upset because they all died in a plane crash on the way to the tournament. Well, that sucks for them. Sorry. Uh, all right, here we go. We're down to four. We're at the final four. This number six seed, the Iran Contra video game called Contra. Yep. Versus the number seven seed. God, we have a seven seed, Colby, in the round of four. Mike Tyson's punch out. It almost looked like Mount Rushmore, <laughs> the way I'm writing it, but I knew that wasn't a game. That would right. that'd be a cool game, though, wouldn't it, Mount yeah. Rushmore? I mean, it'd just be a digital 8-bit. <laughs> you have to go President make Mount Rushmore. Wait, Mount Rushmore? <laughs> So number uh, two, Mount Rushmore versus number six, Contra. I, you know what? For me, it's going to be it's going to be Mike Tyson's yes! punch out. Whew, me too. Wow, I thought we we're gonna have to go to the peanut gallery. I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> so number seven seed Colby makes the makes the uh, semifinals versus number two Zelda versus number three. Super Mario Brothers 3. You beat out Super Mario Brothers, and then it went back and got stronger and bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. And then showed back up with a raccoon tail and, be- and a little bit better <laughs> graphics, <laughs> even though the machine was the same. <laughs> Yet you didn't help me bond with my dad, so I'm oh, going to go with Legend of Zelda. Zelda's all the way! Because my kids like it. Colby, that gives us perfect timing as the music stops. Belch. That was that's what I meant by perfect timing. Number two seed Zelda, the legend of Zelda, versus the number seven seed, Mike Tyson's punch out. You know what? This is gonna be hard. Wow, he does do that. He did that one time. Yeah, but it's still. Oh, have you seen? Speaking of that, have you seen the meme of uh, Evander Holyfield where he's standing there and he's got like half the mask off of his face <laughs> and it says, Thanks a lot, Mike Tyson? Thanks, Mike Tyson. <laughs> that was awesome. It's pretty hilarious. That it is. The, also, what was it? The Sprint commercial back in the day? Can you hear me now? And Evander's like, No, thanks, Mike. You know, oh, I'd kick your ass at Qbert oh, any day. Okay, hey, we need to play real life Qbert. Okay, all right. First, you got to take the sheets off your bed. What happened? I'll be right over. So, um, man, I spent so much time playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and also like those were the two games that pretty much locked down my. It's gonna be hard for you, isn't it? It is, because you've already put your seed over so many places. So, man, you know what? I just, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the dad rule. He liked Zelda over Mike Tyson's punch out. So, you know what? Forrest Tillman, if it's good for Forrest Tillman sap, it's good for Colby Tillman sap. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner mm. because I also would vote. Wow. We got a winner for Zelda, the legend of Zelda over Mike Tyson punch out, as Colby has announced a winner with his seed. Colby has now put his seed all over Nintendo. That. Uh, I don't. I mean, not until like the SNES came out was I ready to be doing stuff like. Was that, that the Super NES? That was a Super Nintendo. What made it so super? The bits. It was more bits. Yeah, right? it was sixteen bits. Is so that, when did uh, Blades of Steel come out? Because I played that all the time. I don't remember what I played. That was like. an eight bit. That was a regular Nintendo, right? Yeah, it was yeah. regular Nintendo. Blades of Steel. That was I liked ice game. hockey better than Blades of Steel. I don't think I played ice, ho- ice hockey. You don't you don't remember the little skinny guy and then the, the medium guy and oh, then yeah, the fat yeah. guy? Oh, that wasn't Blades of Steel. No, that it? was just ice hockey. I remember that from uh, the dodgeball game, too, because you yes. had the little guys and the big guys. Right. The that little was, guys would go faster, but they couldn't throw as hard. Yeah. It, it, like in some, real life. Yeah, the big guys could run people over the little guys really fast, and the middle guys nobody really picked. God, I feel like we've just gone off the rails on this show i mean we didn't find the rails at the beginning a lot of fun hey troy take us out of here thanks for everybody we appreciate you we love you tailgaters thank you for listening to this episode of the drunk sports podcast join us next time for more alcohol and more drunk sports talk with big red and indy car tim my name is troy hughes i'm a tourist and i enjoy and walks on the beaches of lake Bakken. that is when the fecal matter isn't between my toes Until next time, here's to you.
We're all drunk. This is the funnest night ever. <laughs> Surprise, I'm here. Loud noises! Is that blood? Call me.